You did it again. You used Helvetica. Again. I'm sorry. Are you trying to hurt me? Office politicians are energy vampires. When they walk into a room, they suck energy from people around them. I was wondering if you had that feeling fire. They suck emotional energy, mental energy, and even physical energy. Great! Thank you. You're welcome. So I have an appointment with Harry right now? Mm, didn't see on the books. All that stress, it takes its toll on your own body. Office politics can exist in any work environment. Can you get that to me by the end of the day? Sure, I will. Get that back to me by the end of the day? Uh, sure. If you choose to stay away from it all, it may be good for your psyche, but not necessarily good for your career. According to Leadership Quarterly, 42% of a manager's time is spent addressing conflict in the workplace. Most people hear the term office politics and they automatically think negative, bad. It doesn't have to be that way. There's such a thing as positive office politics. And if you understand the rules of engagement, you can make it work for you. There's a few rules of engagement when you're playing positive office politics. And these are less to do with the politics themselves and more to do with just your own behavior as a person. Look for ways to work cross-functionally. And this is important because I think most of us get caught in our little teams and our little social cliques. And rather than doing that, look for ways to expand your influence. Not only does this raise your visibility, but it also raises your reputation within the organization. There is no one-size behavior for all organizations. Every corporation, every organization has their own corporate culture. And you need to go in and figure out what's going to work in each individual corporation or organization. Make sure that you're not, without knowing it, offending someone. And one of the ways to do that is to look around at people who are doing really well within the organization, who are really successful, and model their behavior. Let's say that you have a superior. Maybe it's your own boss or someone out that you don't directly report to. You might want to occasionally walk into their office and ask them for advice or counsel. When you do this, you create this sort of protege relationship. And then they're more likely to see you as both proactive and someone that they'd like to protect in the future. Don't spread anything that's negative. Don't be someone who gossips, don't be someone who complains, and don't be someone who passes along questionable rumors. You don't want to be pegged as a negative office politician. You want to be someone who's forward-moving and forward-looking. In the world of office politics, good karma goes a long way. Let's say that you do a favor for one of your coworkers. You stay late and you stay till midnight helping them put together packets. The next morning you walk past their desk and they don't do so much as a thank you. They don't say anything. They don't in any way acknowledge what you did. How are you going to feel about that? It's pretty unlikely that you're going to volunteer to help them again. So let's turn the tables. When someone goes out of their way to help you, make sure that you find a way to pay them back. Never underestimate how much people need to be valued, feel like they're making a contribution, or making a difference. The more that you can acknowledge people and what they've done for you, and do it publicly, the more they're going to want to feed, feed that cycle and give back to you. Finally, keep in mind that office politicians are only human, just like you and I. It's easy to forget that everyone in your work environment is just human. We all have our strengths, we all have our weaknesses. When you start to look at these negative off office politicians as people with just more insecurities, then you're better able to handle them in a positive way. You can understand what their objectives are, what their insecurities are, what's driving them, and then you're better able to create a win-win situation for them as well as for you. For more information, go to bnet.com.